Hi, Stephanie Glenn here with the second lesson um, of Ruby Slippers, uh, where I'm showing you my percussive pattern and what I'm doing with my chords and so forth and so on. First, I'm going to put my capo on. I'm going to show you how we do that. On this song, I capo three, and I use G, D, E minor, and C. Um, last week, I showed you the first pattern that I use in Ruby Slippers. Let me just go over that with you real quick. One more time, G, D, E minor, and C. Okay, so the second pattern I use uh, when I start singing on the song, the, the whole Wizard of Oz motif, is this. This is a little bit easier. Um, I go strings, thumb, strings, strings, thumb. Strings, thumb, string, string, thumb. Strings, thumb, strings, strings, thumb. Strings, thumb, strings, strings, thumb. So I'll do it just, I'll do it all together just a little bit faster. And when I sing, it sounds like this. When you're walking along the yellow brick road, the monkeys fly and the witches scream. Tin Man walks around the town, but he's not so squeaky clean. So that's pattern number two of Ruby Slippers. Practice. And we'll do number three the next time I see you. I'll just stay here and have a little fun. 